Good morning, it's Christmas Day 2022 and today we're in Sea Toller at the National Trust car park. Uh, our route today is based around Scarfell Pike. We're going to take a slightly different route up there today. We're going to head up this one which is Glaramara. We'll hit the summit before dropping over Allen Crags down to Eskos and then we're going to make our way up towards Scarfell Pike. Christmas, Christmas day, lovely day for it, got some blue sky, a lot better than last night, the weather, it was absolutely flashing it down, we were sat in the hotel room going, oh no, but it's cleared up this morning, not, not like I'm scared of the rain, but it's always better when it's not there. Right, rapid flow off the mountains after the rains last night. The weather soon changed. <laughs> Here comes the wind. Just over there is Raven Gully, which leads up to Raven Crag. be on Christmas Day. Really couldn't be any better. Looking back towards Derwent Water. Going halfway up now towards Glaramara. Just looking towards Combe Head. And Glaramara isn't too far off now. Just been stuck in the mist for a bit. So we're on our way still up Glamara. Some climb this. <laughs> really feel like we've been climbing forever. But it's a really, really nice route with lots of variety in terrain. So well worth coming up. There's even a bit of a scramble on this one. Uh, to the summit from Seatola was around three miles with 2,500 foot of ascent. It's, it's incredibly windy. <laughs> We're now on Redbeck Top, somewhere off the side of here. Red Beck runs down the side and feeds into Grains Gill, which is the one that runs by Sea Toller Farm, under Stockley Bridge, etc. So making our way over towards Alan Crags. On the top of Alan Crags now, it's uh, starting to rain. Picking up. Just on Christmas Day. The descent of Holland Crags. You know, heading for our Esk House before heading up towards Scarfell Pike. Shall to an Esk House. Got 
that you'll see anything but in that direction should the clog not be so low you'll see great end very slippery Craig Cole is going to make the final ascent up towards Scarfell Pike. Here we are on the top of Scarfell Pike. Corridor route is such a fantastic route with uh, great views, very photogenic. Uh, today though, we're not going to see that side of it. It's a shame, but we'll still enjoy going down it. amounts of water pulling off from I think it's Lingmel is it Lingmel that one Lingmel opened up a little bit Might be short lived, but take advantage of the views. Spectacular from up here. here over to Green Gable there and then to Base Brown and back to Sea Tuller and just ahead there is Die Head Tarn. So it's rain again, story of the day. Just about make out Die Head Tarn from here, obviously it's Die Head and here is the famous Stretchy box that I hope we'll never need. The route now is going to be sending Great Gable, and that's what we've got in front of us. It's raining quite hard, and the winds are picking up. All's good. That's a view side of the turf here. 
this is rolling right in not been this way up great gale up before we've only ever come over the other side which is Red Pike and Kirk Fell down to Great Gable not sure what the rest of this route is going to store for us like this ascent at the moment it's, uh, it's alright something quite invigorating the baby being blown all over the place on a mountain you just, you just can't beat it I love it summit of a very windy Great Gable. Oh. Now, we're going to descend down towards Windy Gap. Ascending back up to Green Gable and then over towards Base Brown and then we'll follow Sour Mount Gill, Sour Milk Gill back down to Sea Toller. Crossing Windy Gap. We're going to send out to Green Gable and it's not that windy. That's good. Over towards Base Brown. Keep getting strong gusts of winds, trying to push us down. It's not exactly the type of terrain you really want that to happen with. It's got Base Brown in front of us, just showing itself. It's a bit of a break in the clag. See it coming rolling in again, right in front of us. Not been the day for views. Just approaching the final summit of the day. Face brain. We'll see where we started from here, right at the bottom of the valley, and then up, up Glaramara, along the tops, and that's where we're headed towards Alan Crags and Scarfell Pike. Just make out Sea Toller Farm, just at the bottom. Just going to make our way off Base Brain now. There's Sour Milk Gill in full flow.
<laughs> that is uh, in need of repair. <laughs> Let's close this again. A very slippery final descent. Back towards Sea Fleet Farm. of a green skill. Just past the corner of Seathwaite Farm and then heading back down the road to the National Trust car park where we started. Back to Seatoy National Trust car park. Hi, have you got this far? Thank you. Uh, you've watched all the video, we appreciate that. Um, no doubt by the time you're watching this, Christmas is over. So I hope you had a fantastic day uh, and we wish you the very, very best for 2023 and we will see you next year. Yep, happy new year. <laughs>